Hello, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, buenos dias, buenas tardes, whatever it is, wherever you are. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. I'm starting off with some homemade iced coffee and it's lit. I got my cute little cup from Starbucks. My sister collects them, so I was like, okay, might as well go and get one for myself. And I love it. It's like a little screw on top from Starbucks. All right, so anyways, today we're gonna be going over some beginner esthetician machinery, uh, machines, machinery? Uh, machinery sounds harsh, but machines, supplies. I'm excited to just get into these because I have been having so much fun opening them up, trying them out, practicing, especially on my husband who's been very patient with me. But that's down the road right now. I just really wanna show y'all what's in here. I've already taken everything out of its boxes. So let's go ahead and get started um, opening some of these things. Okay, so the first product is gonna be the portable steamer. I will link it down below. I got it on Amazon. I think it was maybe like $49.99, so $50. Um, I was torn between getting this one. It's like, a t this you can put on a tabletop, take with you somewhere if you wanna go to your friend's house or if I wanna go to my mom's house and do something on my sister's, I can use this. But I was really torn because I wanted the one that stands up on the stand and wheels around. But that's more professional grade, that's more down the road. This was really, this is a really good introduction to eventually getting that. Anyway. This steamer, it still has condensation from the last time I used it. And it looks like this, this is the handle. It extends maybe two, two inches, or you could just use it really short. Uh, the top, it opens and it has a little felt pad where you could put like uh, aromatherapy, lavender, whatever. And it's really well built. You can tell like all the screws are in good. It works really well. It hasn't like broken down on me. Hopefully it doesn't. So this just goes in here and you screw it, you can adjust it. And there you go. So it has two settings. Um, let's see, it has steam and ozone. And another cool thing about it is the safety features it has. So it has these little wings, cause this gets really hot when it actually heats up the water so it can come out of steam. It gets really hot and it's really nice to have these wings right there to protect you if you accidentally go for grabbing it or if your client accidentally grabs it. It does come with instructions on how to clean it properly with vinegar. Um, it tells you not to use any like tap water, especially here we have a lot of hard water. So it can like calcify and like gunk up the machine and it shows you really how to how to clean it out and everything. I'm actually gonna insert a video here on me using it. Um, as you can see, the steam is really, really um, strong. It's stronger than I thought it was going to be. So that's a pro. So I love that the steam comes out really strong. The con is that, I don't know how to put this, but I guess the con is that you have to get the table close enough to the bed or the couch, wherever you're laying in order for you to be able to use it properly. Otherwise it's just gonna be like hitting your neck, you know? And um, unless you have like a professional bed or something and a table next to that, like really close to it, it's really hard to get it to aim exactly where you want it to be. So that would be my, my con for it. Um, filled up to the maximum water level. For me, it lasted maybe 15, 20 minutes. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. This is where the water actually goes and it has a little lid for that right there. So yeah, that's the steamer. All right, so the next thing is the portable high frequency machine. Um, this is the exact one we have at school, actually. There's different options for you to get. This one was about $36 to $40, I think, uh, in total. If you don't know what high frequency does to your skin, it actually like uh, increases blood circulation. It helps kill like acne causing bacteria if used properly. It helps stimulate like the follicles so your hair can grow. Um, it also helps increase the production of collagen, which keeps you plump, and elastin, which keeps you tight. If you, oh, oh. So it looks like this. It's a little messy because I've already used it, but it came with a little like pamphlet instruction manual on how to use it. It comes with, oh my gosh, it comes with the, um, the handheld part of the machine, and it comes with four different, here, I gotta be careful not to drop them because they're glass but it comes with four different heads to the machine. It has the hair comb, um, this little mushroom tip, this uh, like wider surface area mushroom tip, 
and then this little ball and they all have this part in the bottom which actually hooks into the handheld part of the machine so i just plugged it in um it's on the off setting and it has low to high as you turn the little knob at the bottom it looks like this so make sure it's turned off i'm going to be using this little mushroom head or the big mushroom head it looks like that um these are very delicate so just be very careful when you put them in there and the top of it looks like this It's in there, it's off. Let me put my finger on it to ground. And you're gonna hear it. You're probably not gonna be able to see it, but this kind of glows fluorescent. This one glows flu fluorescent uh, like orange. So you're gonna be able to hear it first. Now you can kind of see it on my finger. So this orange, I know you can't see it on camera, but it goes all the way through to the tip of it. So today I'm not gonna go into how to use it and everything like that. Um, I did buy a gauze mask that I'm about to show y'all. I like the smaller supplies in a minute um, that helps this work more effectively on somebody's skin. If you're not a licensed esthetician or a beauty professional, uh, yeah, please get advice on how to use it so you don't shock yourself or somebody else and you don't hurt yourself. So let's go on to the next thing. Okay, so I have one more big machine. I saved the best for last, but before I go into that, I did want to show y'all some of the smaller but just as important products. So the first thing are these little, oh my gosh, these little mask, uh, silicone mask brushes. They have like a little tip at the end here. Um, they're really soft silicone with a little dip here for the contour of your face. The next thing is from, um, if you haven't seen my video on the BT kit of um, the Biotherapeutics kit, the electronics for uh, Paul Mitchell, the school Dallas. This was a part of it. These sides have a place where you could put your ungloved hand and sort of ground the electricity that runs through it. I'm gonna keep this in here because um, it comes in really handy. Um, if you haven't seen it before, you press that button, you can use it for cream, serum, um, exfoliation, and there's a low level and a high level. Let me just show y'all how it vibrates. You hear it buzzing and there's like a little current going through it to help either extract something or for something to better penetrate. Okay, so the next product is a pack of these little very thin gauze masks. I like to use them with the high frequency machine. Um, they came in this big pack. It was under $20, probably under $15 or maybe around $15. Um, and it comes in this huge pack. So the next thing is probably one of my favorite smaller items. It's these little headbands. They came in a pack like this. First, I love that they're white so you can just bleach them. Second, the Velcro is really strong. So if you're an esthetician and you're working on a client and it's an old one of these or an old headband and they keep coming apart or you can't close it properly, you'll know the, the struggle. The struggle is real. So I love that the Velcro is strong on this. Another thing is that they're really absorbent. So if I had my hair done and I put it on to when I'm washing my own face, this kind of takes all the water and I don't have to worry about it. It's really affordable for how good it is. Um, I really like these a lot and it is also pretty large. So I have a larger head, you know, I'm not ashamed of it. It's how God made me. And this really fits my head really, really well. To prevent the spread of any sort of diseases, I always try to keep things as clean as possible. And uh, that includes getting something like this, like this barbicide. Barbicide is really important to keep all of your non-porous surfaces and items clean. So that's the reason why I actually use these for face masks instead of the fan brushes. The fan brushes are a lot harder to clean versus the non-porous little silicone brushes that I have. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this in the bag because I don't really open it unless I have gloves on. Um, in its concentrated form, it can really burn your skin. One thing I will note about this is to make sure that you dilute it to the proper like dilution ratio so it is still effective and also so it's safe for you to spray and wash off and use and touch with your hands and things like We're that. We're finally to the end into my favorite machine. This is the Diamond Microdermabrasion Machine. I believe it was maybe between 110 and $130. And I'm about to show y'all how it works. Let me show you what it came with first. First thing in here is the diamond tips and wand set. And it comes like this. There's nine tips all together, um, different grit and different like uh, surface areas on them. The wands, there's three of them. And then right here was these little plastic uh, interchangeable tips. 
uh, my husband never had a microderm before. <laughs> so I've been using that the last few times that I've been doing it on him to sort of train his skin to, to go to a rougher grip because we are working on his textural issues and acne. So this is the actual machine. It has the vacuum meter here, three different holes. Um, you could put the microderm wands in there or even like these little brushes that I had bought. That's where I put them. Um, if I'm using different tips on the wands, I will put different ones in there. Um, there's a vacuum meter. It says minimum and maximum on the little knob on the vacuum, how hard you want the vacuum to go the on and up switch and down here there's a little filter in there that you change out after every few people when it gets gone you don't like this manual at all it doesn't really go into detail on what it's for how to use it properly anything like that it kind of just gives you like a general overview so please make sure to do your research and watch lots of videos on how to use it this is the hose it's pretty long, so you can work pretty comfortably if this is on a table somewhere. For today, I'm not gonna be using this grit to show you all the vacuum. I'm actually gonna be using this because I'm gonna show y'all right here and I don't need grit on here. Um, let's see. Okay, so the wands are different. One of the wands has a head for, for like these metal pieces to screw onto it. And the other wand has like the silicone grip right here for these to sort of just go on there. So normally, if I'm gonna be using this on somebody's face, I would have put the filter in there to catch that stuff, but I'm just gonna show you all this for a second, so I don't need to do that. This just goes into the bottom right here, and it looks like this. So we're gonna try it right here to show you all the vacuum power of it. We're gonna go over here, turn that baby on. It's really not as loud as you think, especially just, I don't know if y'all can hear that. All right, so on the lowest setting that it has, it sucks like this, like it's barely sucking at all. I'm gonna go up to medium, and now you can see it kind of working better. Of course, when you're working on somebody's face, you don't just hold it there. <laughs> you're gonna be rubbing it like this as it's going, and that's on medium. Let me show you higher. This is nearing max. I'm not gonna go any higher than that. I don't want to like hurt my hand. But again, you don't just hold it in one spot. You're gonna be constantly doing that. The filter in here, according to the instructions, it says you don't have to change it um, often, only every like three to five people. I just took this off of the hose really quick and I take it apart. Usually there's a filter here, like I said, and I would throw that away and put this on like a non-porous surface where I can barbicide it leave it standing for 10 minutes with barbicide then wash it really good so i probably will be making a video on more products as i get them um so far i did a lot of research before i bought these there are a lot of options on amazon for each thing that i have bought and i would look at the reviews um i would keep safety at the forefront like i said my next video is going to be a little different i did want to talk a little bit more about myself personally and my struggle with I guess you'll see in the next video. All right, y'all, with that, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you so much. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.